Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am sharing the layout that I created using the March mood board on um, off the rail scrapbooking. This is the mood board and um, I will put a link in the description box below to the challenge. So if you want to pop over and check that out, that would be great. So the mood board is all about autumn colours, so I've chosen a sort of a mustardy coloured cardstock for the background and the pattern papers I'm going to use are all from Kaiser Craft, they're very old ones. It's some are from Now Boarding and one is from After Five. I'm also going to use a Crafters Workshop stencil called Chevron Tile. I'm going to use my Distress Ink in Ripe Persimmon and my Domed Blending Tool to apply the ink through the stencil onto the background. I'm going to do that so that it completely covers my whole yellow cardstock. For my first pattern paper I'm going to use the um, Kaiser Craft Now Boarding. This paper is called Cabin Crew and I'm going to trim that down so that it's 6.5 inches by 8 inches. So I auditioned a couple of yellow cardstocks or pattern papers to put across here but they didn't stand out enough and so I decided to go with Kaiser Craft After Five and the name of the paper is Corsage. It's a striped paper, it's grey and white and it stands out nicely from the background. I cut this piece uh, three inches by ten and a half inches. I thought about using the dark side of that pattern paper but decided it was too heavy. Now I'm going to choose a yellow paper to go on the top of that and I'm going to use the Kaiser Craft Now Boarding and the paper is called Boarding Path. I'm going to trim that down so that it's two and a quarter inches by nine and a half inches. I decided to add a bit of different colour down the bottom of my layout but I didn't want to just add a piece of paper there so I have cut diagonally from about, oh, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch on one side down to the 12 inch mark on the other side of the layout. This is going to give me just a little unstraight or diagonal cut and I will back that with a piece of pattern paper. The pattern paper I'm going to use behind that is also from the Kaiser Craft Now Boarding range and this one is called Terminal. So I'm just cutting a one inch strip by the full 12 inch width. To get my um, strip and my page square, I'm going to use my scoreboard. I'm going to lay my strip of pattern paper into the corner and then I'm going to use the edge of it to line my pattern, uh, my cardstock up so that I know that it's going to be straight and a full 12 inch by 12 inch when I'm finished. You can see on the back there where I tried out the different coloured inks to see which one I like the best on the yellow cardstock. I stuck this down once and then realised I'd forgotten to ink the edge of my cardstock so I quickly took it off before it had time to attach, inked it and then stuck, stuck it back on using exactly the same method that I used the first time. It was at this point that I decided to put fishtails in the end of those two strips so I measured in one inch from each edge, found the centre put a dot and then um, use my scissors to cut from the outside edge to that dot. I did that on both strips and both ends. The background was looking too wishy-washy to me so I decided to take my stencil, lay it back over the inking that I had done and use a, <coughs> excuse me, use a fine black pen to draw around the stencil holes. I'm going to do this for the whole page. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. I'll fast forward a little bit and then I'll come back to you when it's finished. 
To add a little more interest to the background, I'm going to use some white acrylic paint, put a little bit onto this acrylic block, add some water to it and um, mix that in using my palette knife. Then I'm going to use my fan brush to add some splatters to the background. You can see I'm doing this inside of a pizza box and um, I find that I make a very big mess when I'm adding splatters. To add a little bit of definition to my layout, I've decided to put a black frame around the whole thing. So I'm cutting my background cardstock down to 11 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches. And then I'm going to map that onto a piece of black cardstock that I have taken the middle out of just leaving a one inch frame. My layout took another unforeseen turn here as well. I decided to mat all of my photo, uh, my pattern papers onto black cardstock. Um, so I went ahead and cut a mat for the three pattern papers and the two photos. I cut them a quarter of an inch bigger than the pattern paper. So I cut the uh, the biggest one was eight and a quarter by six and three quarters. The two arrows or two banners, fishtail banners, I cut at nine and three quarters by, I didn't cut the length, I just added them to, you'll probably see it as it comes up, but anyway, the other one I cut at um, three and a quarter inches wide. Uh, when I was doing the fishtails, what I did was I cut the strip and then I attached the um, pattern paper to the strip using glue and then I cut the fishtail section out of it. I find that I get a better fit that way. So some of my layers are going to be lifted up off of the background. The first one, so the bottom layer, the biggest piece, is going to be attached to a piece of scrap cardboard. I find that I'm using cardboard or chipboard scraps more and more instead of the um, foam tape because I I think I get a better feel to it, it's sturdier and also, you know, otherwise I'd just be throwing the boxes out. So I'm using my art glitter glue to attach that to the back of the largest piece of pattern paper. I'm also going to add cardboard to the back of the photos. They're not actually photos, they're actually um, postcards. And sometimes when I go on holidays I buy postcards, or well, lots of times when I go on holidays I buy postcards. And I find that you can get postcards that show attractions to a better advantage than you can sometimes get photos. So sometimes I use those on my layouts. So that's what I'm doing today. To embellish the layout, I've chosen uh, this tab from the collectibles pack. I've put two layers of uh, cardboard behind that because the back of the photo is actually two layers high off of the background sheet. I'm going to use my glue to attach that above that photo and I will write on there the date that we were actually on in Shanghai on this river cruise. Um, I also am going to use some images that I have stamped using one of the Kaisercraft stamp packs for I think it's the now boarding range. I have stamped it onto some of the pattern papers and um, heat embossed it and fussy cut it. So I'm going to use those for my extra embellishments. The tab up the top looked a bit naked so I used my fountain pen and just drew a scribbly border around the edge of that just so that it had that definition to it and, and the black so that it sort of fitted in with the rest of the layout. For the title, I want I didn't want it to stand out too much. I wanted it to be on there, but I didn't want to, it to be a main feature. So I printed it onto some of the same paper that I used on the smaller fishtail banner. And now I'm going to attach it between the two photos. And you can see that the background of it blends in perfectly with the banner. And so you just end up with the text. So that's my layout for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. Um, don't forget this is for the March challenge over at Off The Rails Scrapbooking and I will put a link in the description box below to their 
Facebook page where the challenge is um, held. So uh, thank you once again for being here with me today watching my video and I hope that if you are not already a subscriber you might think about subscribing and uh, giving me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and uh, yeah once again thank you for being here and I hope you can join me for my next video.